Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah As you guys have probably seen the dynamic trio We have spoken out Alhamdulillah against uh, a number of This is a new uh, one, dynamic trio Yes, yeah, I like dynamic that. duo but it was uh, Subhanallah, can you introduce us at least? I don't I think, need introduction, uh, introduce the boy <laughs> Introduce the champ, yeah introduce You got Zishan, otherwise known as Z, otherwise known as Zero <laughs> 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 then you have Ali needs Dawa. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, guys? As you know, we got the 500 strong subscriber individual here. Mashallah, yeah, yeah. he's crossed the threshold. I've also crossed the threshold as well. Ali, Mashallah, long crossed the threshold. And Alhamdulillah, we are here voicing our support, yeah. unconditional support. Yes. For yes. the brothers and sisters in Kashmir. Yes, yeah, let's get they, serious now. Oh yeah, because they've been suffering for many a year since I would say a partition of uh, India and Pakistan and they have been suffering in silence but the thing was at least they had a degree of autonomy and they had some sort of reckoning. Yeah, India did. But the thing is because the parties were somewhat nuanced but now the problem is, since the arrival of the BJP, which is mapped on the RSS, which is a na Nazi ideology, mm -hmm. that is now coming on to and being seen and being propagated onto Kashmir as their autonomy was taken, mm -hmm. snatched, ripped from them. Yeah, and we've seen ever since then, this was a couple of years ago, you uploaded it on your channel as well. And ever since then, it's just gone downhill. To such a degree, we have seen it. It was tugging at our heartstrings as we could see the daughters of the people mm. that were used as human shields by the occupying army. And we could hear the daughters facing the camera and saying we went to the police and they were laughing in our face and the world is silent. They know they are belligerent now. Mm. I was actually on Twitter I messaged the human rights and Kenneth Ross and they're messaging and commenting about all sorts of things. Where are their messages when it comes to Kashmir? If you really are bastions of human rights, then you need to be speaking out with regards to Kashmir. Yeah, you can't just pick and choose. So this is something that happened in Sirinagar, which is an Indian occupied mm. uh, Kashmir. This happened a couple of days ago where they claimed that there was uh, firing. Yeah, mm. so four people died or were killed rather. I don't think died should be the word. Mm. And now it's coming. They said, oh, two were done. Uh, they, they were you know, in the line of fire and they just happened to die. But eyewitnesses, not just one, not just two, numerous eyewitnesses have said mm. they were taken as human shields. As human shields, then they were killed. Their bodies were not returned. Then they were just buried on the border. Yeah, they don't even know where they're buried. Now the people are saying, look, we don't, we, we're not asking for justice. We know, we know the justice that we're going to get from the one million that are there, you know, withholding and controlling and coercing and raping and pillaging there. Mm. So the least we want is the dead bodies so we can mourn. And they're saying no. And they're giving these puny reasons. Oh, because it might cause gathering or COVID or ridiculous pathetic reasons yeah but the sad reality is it's not within the interests of the Arabs of the British of the Americans why because the Indian market is a big market yes they're far right but so is America yeah we just took Trump just left and Boris is still in power and you've got you know uh, Bolsonaro in Brazil and you've got the Australian I uh, don't know what his name is Morrison or whatever so it's becoming a trend so they you know, backing each other up. But the main thing is, it's a big economy and people are too afraid. Arabs are giving them medals. Arabs are, you know, showing pictures of them hugging each other and all these sorts of things. Ajib, disgusting. Yeah, however... Yes, yes. However, I think um, I just want to add one thing here on this point. And you're on a roll, so I don't want to stop you. No, no, go ahead. I, I do want to say that there is a, a sacred significance to India. 
in the in the hadith in the sunnah as sind wal hind in fact it's been mentioned by name many of the viewers will already know what we're talking about and the ghazwat of al hind the ghazwa the 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 fact that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam of the many predictions that he had he predicted that there will be uh, some kind of conquering of that area and there was a conquering of that area i mean why are there muslims in india now and this was in the age of empire and this was one of the miracles the miraculous predictions of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that has come true but when you look at these hadith hadiths i subhanallah have been trying to understand them but i personally believe that the significance of a sind wal hind or the india and pakistan what is really now pakistan is sind is pakistan really it's one of the provinces in pakistan i don't think that that significance has in any way diminished mm. and i do believe this the sheer size this the sheer population size the strength of the country the only muslim country uh, with nuclear uh, weapons it will be center stage it will be center stage and i believe that we have to rely on allah first and foremost that we don't yeah for fair enough we can call out as you you were rightly said call out these inconsistencies and discrepancies and inc- you know contradictions of those who so called uh, bastions of human rights and so on that's important but for us we have to start managing our own affairs and it starts with dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but then is having tawakkul actual reliance on allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and doing as much as possible you know whether it's through charity or through dua or through any other means mm. political means to manipulate the situation in our favor because we not we shouldn't wait for the sorry to say the white man to come and help us the problem is that india they have a very strong relationship with uh, israel yeah, yeah? Uh, they have well, a really that's, that's, that's what they learn all the massive that's genocide what even from, from the ones who are best at it. the the genocide even the use of human shields yeah, yeah. The, the use of propaganda and claiming the victim, that's number two. And number three, blaming everything on the militants. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's what Israel does in an interview of one of their guys with Mehdi Hassan. Just the amount of times that guy says, Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Mehdi Hassan says, everything is Hamas. And he goes, yes, everything is Hamas. <laughs> that's uh, it's pathetic, frankly. Mm. Everything is Hamas. So this is just like we're seeing something happen in, in Palestine. We're seeing exactly the same thing happen in India. But the thing and the call that we're getting is they just don't want us to forget them. Mm. They don't want to be suffering in silence where the Ummah doesn't even know. Mm. To be honest, actually, I don't, like I said before, I don't want to come here and just talk for the sake of it but because I don't know much going on in the ground. I generally, I just do not know. Um, but the only thing that I can say... So like after hijab, hearing... Yeah, after hearing like what Hijab said as well when it comes to tawakkul is you know we, we talk about this matters in depth in detail we logically think okay I'm going through this this was happening what's going to happen Allah says very clearly in the Quran do not do not think that Allah is unaware of what they what these people the unjust people are doing the oppressors he only delays them look at Allah Allah's basically talking to you and saying you are in I'm talking to the people of Kashmir if they're watching this inshallah is that you're in despair there's nothing in this dunya that we can do we are your brothers well we want to do something we can't but Allah is telling you, do not think that Allah is unaware of what they're doing. So in the physical world, what you're going through. You know, you're telling me that women are being raped, left, right, center. Okay, this, this makes any man do some mad stuff. I don't want to get into detail here, yeah? But the thing is here is that Allah then talks about the hereafter. He only delays them to a day that their eyes will stare in horror, yeah? So, and for example, another verse in the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about that on that day, and we will say in my culture, we say, the one that laughs last will laugh the best. And the believers are going to be laughing at them. Let me make it very clear. The believers will laugh at the mushrikeen, the, the kuffar, yeah, who were hostile and did all of this. We are going to have the laugh, uh, last laugh. Be sure about that. And like, um, I don't know who this was from, but you know, I don't know if it was from the companion of the Prophet Sallallahu he said, you know, bury a little more, only a little bit more remains. So the only thing that I can say to the brothers and sisters that are watching this, Wallah, in this dunya we suffer. You guys are suffering more than us and we ask Allah to forgive us that we can't do enough. But all I can say is, bury a little more. It's easy for me to say it. Only a little more remains. And inshallah in the hereafter, have no doubt that everyone is going to get their justice. But let me ask a question. If... If people from the community in the in the West, yeah, wherever it may be in the West, they want to start now polit- political activism and yeah, they should protest and whatever. 100%. The way that we've been doing it for Palestine, yes. the way we've been doing it for the Uyghurs, yeah, the way we've been doing it for uh, Syria and or the vocalization, yeah. or how vocal we have been yeah. in past years. Are we all willing to be on board in the same way mm. as we have for those causes 
for the cause of Kashmir? I think the the, the, the question that needs to be asked is: Are these are they Muslims of Kashmir? No doubt. Okay, to me, there's no difference between a Uyghur, uh, Uyghur, a Palestinian. Okay, they're Muslims, and, and yeah. not only that. Let's suppose they were not Muslims. Would we, as Muslims, stand up for oppressed people who are non-Muslims? Okay, uh, are we willing people. now to put to put if if some people spearhead this and yes, vanguard this 100%. from their own community who know yes. about the situation most yes. and uh, and they put the efforts in? Mm. Are we willing to aid and assist these brothers mm. and sisters? In uh, pushing the course forward, I think it's very simple. If they arrange it and we're not there, they can question us. Whatever is in your power, even if it means sharing posts, even if it means subscribing, I'll try to put some uh, some channels that you guys can follow for news. CJ Wellman is really good. Yeah, he's in English as well, and you guys, I'm sure you follow him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so knowing, far right. Yeah, and the thing is, look, uh, now that we know Kashmir is going through this, when these people post, we can retweet. Yeah, we, we can pay attention because there's no excuse now. There's no excuse of I, I don't know. CJ Wildman is posting it. Al Jazeera is covering it. TRT is covering it. Whatever I've mentioned has been covered by independent, like the using of human shields in Syria Nagar was covered by the independent, by Al Jazeera, by TRT, by CJ Wildman. It's covered by all of these uh, major handles. Yeah, the only thing is, it's just not um, pushed enough. It's worth looking into, it's worth educating yourself. And even for us knowing when somebody comes to me, even as a case study, when people start, you know, uh, put shunting human rights forward of uh, other countries like Afghanistan, put this forward. Yeah, even in your du'as. Mm, that's a good point. Yeah, even in your du'as, even in your case studies, what's going on in India? What's going on in Kashmir? Yeah, and even in your du'as, yes, Uyghurs, yes, Rohingya, yes, pa Palestine, and yes, Kashmir also. Of course, Yemen and there's other countries that I haven't mentioned, but unfortunately and sadly, as India starts progressing in terms of his economy, in terms of his military, so does their belligerence, so does their power amongst other nations that they can call the shots and they can uh, oppress more. It's the same that we're seeing with Israel. Yeah, the more stronger they become, mm -hmm. the more leverage they have. And India is following suit mm. with the same leverage. Let's leave it there. Assalamu alaikum.